Guys, welcome to May's episode of Building Whitetails. We're gonna go over this clover plot that we planted last month in April segment of Building Whitetails, and we're also gonna jump to my place and go over one more clover plot and how we're gonna hunt these this fall in regards to mature bucks patterns and how they enter food sources. I've said it before, you'll hear me say it again, I will continue to say it. Help the deer do what deer want to do. First thing I'm going to touch on is this clover plot we planted. Uh, we got we got a really great stand. The clover is coming on. It's small, but you know it's only a month old. We also have grass coming in, and that is very typical of spring clover plots. Um, we're going to spray it with a product called Clethodum. It's labeled for grass. It does not kill broadleafs, so it's safe to use in your clover plots. Um, one application uh, right now when this grass is young, it will. Clean up 90, I'd say 90% might come back mid-summer and hit this once again just, to turn, just based off of what we're seeing for weed pressure. So how we're going to hunt this plot. To the north we've got a big timber area and we did a lot of work to it. Um, timber stand improvement, just really, really tried to improve the bedding quality on this area of the farm. We made the core our sanctuary and we're hunting the outside. So what our cameras are telling us is that the mature bucks are coming on the downwind side of this bedding area. It's like when you get on the downwind side of a burger shop, it's like pew! You know, it's the same concept with a mature buck and these does during rut. And that's when we're planning to hunt this spot uh, the most. So with a north wind, we're, the bucks are going to be on the south side of the bedding area. So they have that wind in their favor. We're going to be on the south side of the buck to keep the wind in our favor. So the buck, uh, from based off what cameras have told us over the past couple of years, they're running this edge right here. It's not a real defined trail, but oftentimes mature bucks are not running these super defined trails. We see huge trails and we get super excited, but that's not oftentimes where the bucks are going. The, you have to think that the bucks live and die by the wind. So uh, we created this food source here just as one more uh, small spot of attraction to hopefully slow the mature deer down. Uh, we'll also get doe activity in here as well, and that's not going to hurt us at all. Um, you know, the buck, we're, we're, we hunt the rut based off of what the does do because the bucks will follow. Um, so yeah, that's our plan here. North is the bedding area. The bucks run on the downwind side. We're gonna hunt the downwind side of the bucks and use the wind in our favor. All right, so we've jumped to my home farm. This is where building whitetails has been centered around. I shot goalposts right across the creek here last year. The, the spot where we're at, it, it's been a puzzle to me. It's, I built, you know, one of my sayings from the beginning is help the deer do what the deer wanna do. And you know, we're all students of the deer. That's, they're the greatest teacher we're gonna have. And I was not, I, to be completely honest, I was not being a good student of the deer and how they use this exact spot. I've got 80 acres, I have, to, I have to maximize every single acre I've got in my favor. They were using this as a staging area. They were coming from the bedding area to the west, crossing the creek, coming in here, spending an ample amount of time before they crossed the creek in a different location and went over to the primary food sources. Um, and, and I was treating this like a, like a food plot in regard, and hunting it like a food plot. I was not hunting it like a staging area. So what I'm doing is turning this into a staging area. I planted clover here. I've noticed on my farm that the deer like to stage in clover. They don't necessarily eat the heck out of it, but they stage a lot in it. So I added, I put a small clover plot in, just the width of my comfortable shooting range. I'm gonna put a blind here on the southeast side. I had an excavator come in and dig, a, dig a, uh, uh, an access route across the creek so I can get into the blind and out of the blind undetected. Um, and I won't be intruding anywhere out here. So we've got bedding, um, we've got, a, a, we're improving the staging area and we're still gonna have uh, good hunting on the primary food sources over here as long as our access is good. So, you know, that's kind of the, the problem and the solution is I wasn't treating this how the deer wanted this to be treated. They wanted this as a staging area. Um, you know, we're putting it back into a staging area. We've got short grasses. I don't want them bedding in here. Uh, they were eating a ton of woody browse. I added the extra woody browse. They like clover. I moved the clover from one spot, spot of my farm over here to what they like to stage in and travel through, um, you know, before they go out to that, that final destination food source off to the northeast. 
So guys, that's, that's, that's May's video. You know, this is using, this is planning ahead for how we can use these spots in our favor this fall during rut, during deer season. I expect this to be a killer early season spot because I, I was noticing on my cell cams that a lot of the biggest deer on my farm during daylight hours were coming through this location going to the food. So I'm gonna back off the main food source. I'm gonna focus my time right here in the staging area. Next month's episode, we're gonna go into tree stands. A couple episodes back, if you haven't watched uh, the runway episode, we're gonna hang a stand and run away. We, we went in and we, we manipulated the travel route just a little bit to tweak it in our favor. The deer loved to travel through that. We, we cut the timber in a way that moved them in closer to a tree that worked in our favor, not going in and trying to find a tree that, oh man, I don't know what tree to pick. We found the tree and built the plan around the tree itself based off of access and, and having a really good hide went up in the tree. So we're gonna hang a stand out there. We're gonna show that. We're gonna show the access and we're gonna break that entire plan down for you guys. Look forward to seeing you. Guys, welcome to the month of May. This, this episode, we're gonna go over uh, this clover plot we planned last month, an April segment of building whitetails. We're gonna go over how to hunt it, and we're gonna go over to the lodge, my place, and we're gonna cover one more clover plot. Instead of welcome to the month of May, say welcome to May's video. Yeah, welcome, it's May. All right, it's not. It's not, it's so not. You want me to twerk? <laughs>